Today we're going to be talking about the most bullish altcoin there is out there, which is none other than Dogecoin. And of course, there's a lot going on around Dogecoin, predominantly around Elon Musk, around the elections. But anywho, anywho, here we only care about price action because it's price action that's always going to keep us in the right trades riding the right trades all the way through this bull market. Now let's go ahead and quickly recap what we last spoke about on Dogecoin. Did we anticipate this pump to the upside? Yes, we did. Now we are two days away from closing this monthly candle. If this monthly candle closes over the red box territory, that's going to be a very strong picture for the bulls, at which point I'll be looking for a minor pullback. Okay, perhaps if it's generous enough, it's going to give us a retest and then another move to the upside. And why am I anticipating another move to the upside? It's because, guys, there are multiple. This is something else that I brought up in the previous video. I'm seeing multiple bullish cascading pattern plays right here. Now let's hit pause. This is where we were at the last time around on the monthly time frame relative to the red box territory. Now, I was looking for a dip into the red box and then rally off that red box territory. Let's go ahead and figure out what did price do. Well, this is it right here. Price on the monthly time frame. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. Pull back. Rally rally there we have it okay so we did pull back into the red box territory and then rallied right off of that so far this month alone and guys you need to understand that this month had just started we're only one week in and price has already rallied 40 percent and i'm not even taking the wick into account if i take the high of this candle into account we've already rallied a good 55 percent just this month alone and we're only eight days in so today I'll be telling you what I believe is going to be Dogecoin's next probable move and where are the next bid opportunities on the chart. Needless to say, this is a bull market. In fact, I presented this entire system to you where I gave you the two major events that takes place once every four years happens to line up every time, which is the halving and the US presidential election. Now between these two events, we often see price consolidation as we did right here as well. Even this time around in 2024, we saw price consolidate between the halving and the US presidential election. But guys, the US presidential election is over. And if we look at the historic data, what happens right after the election, irrespective of who wins? Well, there we go. Rallies to the upside, okay? Every single time, once in 2012, in 2016, in 2020, and now we're 2024. And it's not just that, guys. Monetary conditions are also easing off, which means more liquidity for the market to run. Now, it's not just market running, guys. I believe that the altcoins are actually going to have an upper hand in this next wave for the market in general. Now I'm saying next wave because it is the next wave and quite honestly, it's going to be the final wave. You need to understand that Bitcoin's bull run has been happening for the past two years. If there's one person who's nailed every single move and who has stuck to his entire trade from $17,000 all the way up to $75,000, it is none other than Sean. If you are not following him on Twitter, what are you doing? He's been posting a lot of alpha on the altcoins and the meme coins as well. He posted this back in Feb of 2023. Bitcoin was sitting at 21.8. K. He had even posted one more when Bitcoin was sitting at $17,000, telling people that, hey, this is the time to be a buyer. This is a major, major reversal. He saw the moves coming before it even happened. He let the bull market take care of his profits. All he had to look after was his risk management, and his risk management kept him in the cycle throughout. He sat in this trade stress-free, and if you guys want to learn from him, then definitely check out his Mango Seed program. It's changed a lot of lives and made a lot of people a lot of money. So if you're looking to jump in deep this bull run, start there. Now, as far as Dogecoin is concerned, we're going to be defaulting back on over to our cascading pattern play. I want you guys to look at every chart as a story. How is the story unfolding and how can you best get into, well, the buildup of the story? Because it's in that buildup that you can actually capture those amazing, amazing profits. Now, as far as Dogecoin story is concerned, we were looking at this falling wedge like pattern. Now a falling wedge on a technical standpoint guys is a bullish pattern. What makes it bullish is always the break to the upside. Now this falling wedge actually met its measured move. Just how well prices got up there 22 cents but it was not just price getting up to 22 cents. It was the consequence of price getting up to 22 cents that mattered more than anything because price getting up to this level right here which it's at right now also threatens to break out of a much much larger pattern which is none other than this beautiful, beautiful cup and handle like formation right here. 
Now, if we have to go ahead and take the measured move of this cup and handle and plot that on the potential break, now note that it has not broken just yet, so that pattern hasn't been activated. Getting up to 22 cents would basically take Dogecoin closer to activating that larger pattern. Now, if we actually get to the measured move, this would take Dogecoin all the way up to a dollar and three cents. And this is just the target for the cup and handle. Can it actually go further from there? Of course it can, especially if we are in a bull market. And this is just what if we're looking at Dogecoin's previous high, which came in at around 74 cents from 74 cents all the way up to a dollar and three. That's just a 38 percent from there. All right. So, yeah, as far as Dogecoin actually overshooting a dollar and three cents, it is Extremely probable, if you ask me, once the bull run actually continues from here on. Like I said, I believe we're getting to the next major, major phase of the bull run. If you want to make money this market, you got to figure out a way where you can have some longevity in this market, which means to stay in the market without getting shook out and without getting tired. So now that we found out that, okay, Dogecoin is looking good, we're about to break out of this massive cup and handle like formation, the measure move to which will take Dogecoin all the way up to, to a dollar and three cents, which is a good 352% on that next move. How do we go about positioning on this now i have been defaulting back on over to just one indicator okay it's been keeping me stress-free on dogecoin which is none other than the lifeline now i have identified that dogecoin is trending very very well on the daily time frame okay you can see it beautiful beautiful trend higher highs higher lows now if i want to look for the next best bid opportunity i'm going to be looking to capture the next higher low on the chart because I can be stress free on that trade. If it breaks past that, then I know that, okay, I'm wrong on the trade. I can maybe capture a better price. All right. However, if it rallies, well, I'm rewarded, right? I'm rewarded. And guess what? I don't have to wait too long. I don't have to wait too long to figure out if I'm right or if I'm wrong. So as far as this trend is concerned, I know that Dogecoin currently is trending on the daily time frame. Let's go ahead and put on the lifeline indicator. Oh my goodness. This has been on point guys. Um, okay, so what's cool about the lifeline, by the way, I don't know if you guys know this, um, someone asked me recently, if you get into the lifeline, switch on bar color, the bar color actually tells you who's in control. Is it the bulls or is it the bears? Okay, it's like a bias indicator. If it, the bulls are in control, all of your all of your candles are going to be colored green. If the bears are in control, then all of your color, uh, all of your candles are going to be colored red. You can see that all the candles right now are colored green. In addition to telling you that, okay, Dogecoin currently has a bullish bias, it also tells you where you are going to be rewarded for being a buyer and what's that level that's going to be easy to manage. Right now, this is telling us that the next buy opportunity comes in at around 16 cents, going all the way down to 15 cents. And quite honestly, nailing a bid on that region is going to be super, right? Because this red box territory is a monthly region of support. So getting any bid on the monthly region of support, consider how easy it's going to be to manage that trade. Now, in addition to giving you the buy zone, it also tells you when you're wrong on the trade. And just right on the money, it lines up with what? The invalidation lines up with the low right here because you know that as soon as prices break 14 cents, you're wrong on the trade. There's something very, very different happening. The trend is officially broken. Now, if price starts taking out this wick high right here, I won't be surprised if we get another jab at that entire target range going in from 21 cents all the way up to 22 cents. If the trend continues here, honestly, I believe we're actually breaking that cup and handle formation sooner than later. Would I be a buyer right here? No, man, it's in the middle of the range. So I'll be waiting on a good bid opportunity. Sometimes it's actually better off waiting for a coin to rally, taking out resistance and then catching the bid on the retest of resistance flipped into support, anticipating the next move to the upside. Yeah, believe it or not, sometimes it's just better off buying higher than buying in the middle of the range because managing the trade just gets that much more easier. But yeah, this is Dogecoin for you. I think it's looking really, really strong. The one macro pattern I want you guys to watch out for now is none other than this beautiful cup and handle like formation. We're looking at a good 350% on that next move to the upside. So buckle in Dogecoiners. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did hit the like, let me know which other coin you want me to cover in the next upcoming videos. And don't forget to join the Discord chat if you're looking for a fun community to, well, just chill with. Alrighty, with this, trade safely, trade stress-free, trade the main way, trade the easy way. Ciao, you guys.